Make sure I'm recording. I am. Hello, everybody. It is uh, Thursday evening, and uh, I wanted to take a pause in my action to uh, address something that uh, has come up with one of my games. The uh, Nationals at White Sox game, which was uploaded earlier today. I uploaded it earlier Thursday afternoon, so if you're just now watching this, it's already up, and you can go refer to it if you would like. And I received a couple comments that uh, had me wanting to do an explanation of what went wrong. Not so much with the game. The game got played out and is official, as you can see here. Let's see. Where is it? Right right here. It is, it is official. But in the process of doing that, the wrong ballpark appeared. And I would like to explain exactly how this kind of happened and how I had no control over that. If we go up here to... So what went wrong? Well, if we go to rules here and we go down to home fields, all teams, this is in League Manager, and I look here and I scroll down and for the Chicago White Sox, which was the home team for that game, I have Scheib Park listed, not the Seattle Kingdom. Now, granted, the Seattle Kingdom is in my list of ballparks, available ballparks, but nowhere in here in any of the teams for 1908 does it appear as a team's home field. What I can gather that happened was that I believe I had set the kingdom maybe as default for the uh, Baseball for Windows piece of the software, the uh, Broadcast Blast part of the portion of the software. And so when it went into the Nationals and White Sox game, if you notice at the very beginning when I started that game, it failed to load up Scheib Park for some reason, and I do not understand why. Also, if you notice, one other thing that was missing was the clock that shows the time on the scoreboard was also missing. Whereas normally it is it appears there. So how how and why this occurred, I do not know, considering that there I have recorded since then two other games I believe it is that have yet to go up and both of them have had their ballparks load up properly as should be. So, I don't know if there's something wrong with the Scheib Park image all of a sudden that uh, I need to look at. I am not quite sure. So, I'm going to keep an eye on this and uh, I will keep an eye on this and the next time a team hosts at Shy Park, I will see if it comes up. And if it doesn't, then I will know there's something wrong with that ballpark. But, you know, in previous games of that series, I do believe the park came up properly as well. So this is a very isolated incident. And uh, I just wanted to reiterate that this is something that was apparently completely been on my control once the game started I was fully expecting Shibe Park to appear and it did not so that's kinda of what happened there and I would like to ad address that I, I hope that whatever ballpark image comes up does not affect your, your experience in enjoying these games because the main joy of APA Baseball for Windows is in listening to Ernie Harwell call a baseball game. You get a great, great commentary from this game, and that is where the real joy of this game comes in, not so much in graphics. So, 
And as you can see here, I have only a few stadiums from 19 old old stadiums listed for home ballparks for these 1908 teams. I don't have them all. I'm not. I'm. I don't have all the 1908 stadiums, and it does not. It does not kill my enjoyment of the games to have a ballpark that maybe should not be displayed being displayed so I hope it will not for you as well because the main joy is being able to listen to a baseball game especially in a time where we don't really have a lot of baseball to be watching or listening to right now other than the baseball we create on our channels so with that in mind I hope that everyone will come to appreciate that and how this game really can provide a lot of enjoy a lot of joy just in listening to the commentary because that is what app of, for windows is about it is not about flashy ballparks or great graphics like a game like out of the park baseball is this is more designed for you to be able to while yes you can still manage teams if you want to you also get more of a radio broadcast call of a baseball game. So I hope this kind of clarifies for everyone what went wrong. As a matter of fact, I will go ahead and get out of this without changing anything. Cancel. Make sure I hit cancel. I don't want to put the kingdom kingdom up for anybody. And uh, I'm going to get back to recording games. I will have another upload of the game later on tonight. I'm going to put this video up immediately. First though, before I before I get going on anything else in this project. So I hope everyone will continue continue to enjoy these games and have a great night. Thank you.